Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Weasel, and we are playing Cube World, a, what would we call it, a voxel RPG, um, where you explore the realms of a randomly generated world uh, with your own character, which can be a mage or a warrior, just like in any other RPG um, you got several classes and you get to explore a randomly generated world and uh, defeat evil bosses and whatnot. Um, anyway, I'm going to create a new character. Character uh, I played for quite some time. I got this level 6 human warrior. Um, I mean, that doesn't look very high, but it took quite some time to get to that point, um, especially figuring out, figuring out that game. Uh, I will definitely uh, go over several points again so if you haven't played the game you will know what's up and how to do things if you uh, want to play it on your own anyway we're going to create a new character uh, which is always usually a uh, tough thing to do for me because I never know what I want to be anyway uh, definitely going to be a male uh, mage I want to play mage this time last time I played the warrior and it is a very good uh, low range melee class and this one has a spell so I can attack from the distance I don't know how that works out but anyway um, I'm going to create my character what haircuts are there so yeah you got several customization options um, I think I want to go with a epic mustache um, well he looks angry I, I look angry I mean that looks interesting enough let's get the hair color right uh, where, where's some... Uh, it's, uh, that's fine. It's fine. I mean, looks like a ball of fur, but that's okay. Look at this mustache. Look at it. Mm, such a sexy mustache. And uh, I will call him... I will call him Hairball, because that's what he looks like. Like a big ball of hair. So, let's create that character. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so, uh, oh, I can go to my uh, previous world I explored before with my other character, or I can go to your new world, and we're, of course, going to create a new world. Um, you can enter a seat number, which will be the amount of subscribers I currently have. Uh, five, nine, eight, I think that's right, and I will call it, um, damn it, it wants a name again. Let's go with... Fur hair world. <laughs> I, no. Let's go with Smashistan. Yeah, let's go with Smashistan. Because we're going to smash things. Well, actually, we're going to set them on fire because I want to be a fire mage. But anyway, yeah, the loading takes a little bit of time until the world is generated. And there we are in the lands of Nargor. Where am I, I wonder? Um, so the world is still loading up. Um, there is our map, which you open with M, by the way. And there we got our town. I think the first thing you want to do is go to that town. Is it that direction? Yes, it is in that direction. Okay, so um, let's open up our character menu, which would be under... No, that's the inventory. Um, but also the character thingy things hairball level one mage fire okay um skills are under x yes they are so i can be a fire mage, fire mage or a water mage i can um switch over to that but i think i'll stay with fire um and i have no skill points i can put into fire explosion or other cool skills or become pet master get better at climbing or swimming so yeah Nothing of that is going to happen. Being level one, being a level one character is quite frustrating for some time because you make so little damage and you have to fight these low, 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 low level monsters. And um, most of them are above your level. So like this lemon beetle. Uh, let's not get too close. First, let's figure out how attacking works. Okay, that is our fire spell. And as you can see, I make damage from distance and I just collected cobwebs. You collect items and uh, craftable things, um, things you can craft um, with by destroying things like a gold deposit, a silver deposit, iron whatsoever and cobwebs and pick up things from the ground. You can carry out a lot. You have a big... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn it. I, I pulled some on... What are they? Onion links. Onion links. Yeah, I pulled some onion links, which is bad. Um... Oh yeah, they're coming for me. They're coming for me. So... 
Oh, the fire vortex is quite nice. So you got uh, magic points as well. Um, when you attack with your simple mouse click one melee attack, you load up your MP. I think these are mana points or magic points, something like that. I, I don't know what how they're called in this game. And um, when you do that, you can cast another spell. I mean, you can cast it before that. You can cast a fire vortex before that. But it won't be that effective. And oh, apparently I keep my MP as a mage. As a warrior, they slowly degrade. Well, that's fine. Let's get some ginseng. I can make some delicious ginseng soup out of that. And, oh, I should definitely take a portion. I can do that with Q. Because it's in my quick slot inventory. And you spawn with a couple of... Um, oh, a, an owl. An owl. Hello, Mr. Owl. You're friendly, right? Yes, he's friendly. Um... So this is a pet, and you can take pet with you. Uh, a pet doesn't have to be friendly; they can attack you as well. But uh, if you got their favorite food, you can tame them, and they can become your pet and attack other mobs. Um, I think I'll let that owl live. I f I'm, I'm feeling generous today. Yes, you will be alive. Remember the day where Hairball the Fire Mage kept you alive. Anyway. We are... Wait, I wanted to go to the town. Where's the town again? There it is. There it is. You can zoom in so far. And the map is just awesome. Gotta say. And the graphical style of this game is superb. I really love how they um, used this voxel look. I mean, you could confuse it with Minecraft because it looks quite blocky and edgy. But um, it's on a different level. And I think it just called the voxel look. Um... You cannot mine anything, so if you're looking for a mining game where you can build your own house and dungeon, um, this is not the game for you. Oh, a dwarf. Oh, I think that one might... No, actually, that's fine. I, I, I think I can handle that one. If I am able to hit it with my fire vortex. <laughs> Alright, work well. So yeah, you can throw them over if your attack is strong enough. To... Oh, damn it. He has a big axe. I don't like that at all. Uh, I need to cast a fire. Made it. Only one XP. So, yeah. If you want to know if a character is stronger or not as strong as you, uh, you just look at their name. If it's written in red, he's several levels above you and you will have a hard time killing that one. If he's blue, um, he's usually manageable for your level. Um, if he's white, I think he's even less of a problem. And currently, I'm stealing all the pineapples around. Uh, there are fields around a town which contain pineapples and I th think pumpkins are also a possibility. And you can just take them all. Whoever planted these isn't mad that you steal all their pineapples. And you can carry up to 50 of them and you can craft pineapple slices which you can eat, which will give you um, health just like in other MMOs. Uh, food gives you only health if you sit down, you cannot fight while that or run away and if you drink a health potion you can at least run away from the fight while getting healed up and there we have some pumpkins oh yes let's steal all the pumpkins we are going to explore nagar city just in a second and the amazing thing is it is always randomly generated so you will not run out of cool locations to explore and there are castles and ruins and big lakes and what not way encounter mobs and bosses and all those things. Okay, I got enough pumpkins. Then I can make some pumpkin muffins. But I'm not going to do that right now. Right now... Oh, this town is really beautiful. Got this long, 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 long way. Naga City is nice. And I'm in the adventurer district. Um, so the interaction with humans or anyone is quite limited. You can talk to them. They tell you something like, I love traveling from city to city. Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice thing. Isn't there only one city in here? Yeah, it's it's quite a huge map. There might there might be more cities, but I think it's only one. I can't be too sure about that, so don't take whatever I say for granted. Okay, so this is the marketplace, I assume. The trade district is this. So where are the shops? Where are the shops? Oh, look at that nice tower. Can I go? Oh, I can go in there. Yeah, I'm feeling very exploratory right now. So I'm going to do that. Let's climb. If you want to climb up somewhere, you pull down control and move forward and then you will climb up something. You can also jump on it or combine that. And you open things or interact with things with R just like you talk to someone. Oh, you are... What are you? Adaption. Oh, wait. You're, you're some sort of 
trainer. I assume a melee trainer. I haven't played this game that intensely, so I'm still figuring out things by myself. Or we are doing that together. This is like a general shop. Um, I can get flask in here and whatnot. I don't have any money, right? Oh, I got 15, 15 copper coins. Is it copper? I believe it's copper. Oh, wait, I got a gold bracelet. Where did I get these from? Two gold bracelets. Um, I cannot wear those. I have one on my right ring finger. A gold ring with power one. Well, wait, currently crap. Oh, what? Oh, it's a bracelet. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the bracelet. I don't want that. I want my wood staff. Anyway, uh, wood wand, shabby wood. Okay, we can sell all those things. Oh, that's loud. It's loud on my headset. Gonna turn it down a little bit. Anyway, um, what we want, of course, are glass flasks. Flasks. However you say that. And I don't care, yeah. I need a lot of them. A lot of them. You wonder, why do you buy 50 glass flasks? Why would I do that? Well, you need them to create potions and hard flowers as well. Hard flowers are flowers you can pick up from the ground and craft them into little potions. And these are really helpful. You need them for fighting and leveling up because you don't want to sit down and wait for something to, uh, to be eaten by you and whatnot. And this is a respawn <laughs> statue, at least. This is where you respawn when you die. Luckily, you don't lose any items when you die, so this game is quite forgiving in regards to that. But it's quite difficult at the beginning to level up, and it takes a lot of XP. So, it's not like your general MMO where you level up 10 levels within the first 10 minutes. Actually not. Oh, a collie. Hello, mister. Hello, woof woof. No, I cannot tame you yet. I don't have anything to tame you with. <clears throat> So we're going to explore. I mean, I didn't explore all the town areas, but we are going to do that anyway uh, later on. We are now off to killing some mobs for levels. I'm going to do that. Okay. A terrier. No. That one's friendly, right? Yeah, that's friendly. Don't, let's not kill the terrier. But we got a wolf. No, it's a cat. Damn it. And a pig. Only nice creatures around here. They're also nice. I don't want to kill them. Oh, a nice tunnel. The, the, the level generation or the world generation is just incredible. How it looks. It looks like it was modeled. With all these, these things in there and the pathways. It's just really cute. Anyway. Ooh. Ooh. Some insect guards. Insect guards. They are way too strong for me yet. Especially four of them. Um, whoa. What is this? It's a wolf, and they're still too strong. So I'm basically just running around and checking out the general area. Uh, yeah, let's get let's get some cotton webs. Uh, cobwebs, not cotton webs. I, I'm 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 a confused weasel. Don't mind me. Okay, more hard flowers. Yes, give me all the hard flowers and ginseng. What was that? I'm, I'm not I'm not sure. I think. My magic points are full now? I don't know what that told me. Hmm, look at my fiery aura. Isn't that nice? Ooh, another hard flower. What is that? A Scottish Terrier. Well... Ooh, wait, what's that? That is a... There are some mobs back there. Maybe, maybe I can find one that I can find. fight. I mean, I might <laughs> be able to kill a red mob, but it might be dangerous. It's dangerous. Take this. A cormling, yes. Uh, he's orangey, so might have might actually have a chance if I do this right. I mean, I can... Oh, uh, wait. It's mouse 2, not 2. Come on, pass that. Well, I really do like the fire vortex. It's quite strong, to be honest. Stop hitting me. I'm a mage. I'm not... Uh, let's get some distance in between us. Go away! Go away! Okay. Let's cast the fire vortex. And there we go. 2 XP. Only 43 more to go to level up. Which is insane. But it's okay. It's okay. Let's drink a potion. Hey. Wait. Is that elf dangerous? I think he is because of that red bar. Yes! And he's casting water onto me. I don't approve that at all. 
Screw you. Screw you, elf. I can do the same. Whoa, that, that is going to be close. Ah, he killed me, and it was so close. It was so close. Well, I died. And I'm now... Little, little blocks. Oh. So this, these are the statues I told you about in the town, you remember? And I think you spawn to the closest one that is next to you. Um, they're scattered around the map. Ooh, there's a fight going on. Let's check out that fight. Let's check out that fight. You killed the horses. Oh, better stuff. I'll take that. Thank you. So, you got these... Oh, wait. Let's attack that horse. Eh. And they will... These NPC groups that wander around the area will start attacking anything around. Which is quite interesting to be honest. Um, and you should take use of that. Make use of that. So these groups are running around. Some of them are friendly, some are not. And if they are friendly and you get attacked by a mob or you pull some mobs there, they will attack them for you. And wait, maybe... Yeah, that's far enough. Okay, both... No, only one is coming. Come here, come here. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. This is a neat thing to do if you're leveling up, especially in the beginning. Wait, where are they? Where are they? Oh, damn it, I lost them. Oh, damn it, I lost... Oh, there they are. Okay. Guys, I need your help. I got two lemon beetles. They might be a bit too strong for me. They're not the strongest as well, but they can at least offer some assistance. Oh, shit. Oh, don't die, weasel. Drink that potion. Okay, so they're running after me. And while... What? One dwarf already died. Okay, now they're getting there. And that gives a lot of XP. He survived. Good, good, good. Um, and this is much more effective if you use a NPC group to battle against uh, stronger mobs. Oh, wait. What is that? That is a big friggin' cat, right? That is one big cat. Ooh, heart flower, heart flower, heart flower, heart flower. Heart flower! Uh, whoa! Keep oh, keep your calm. No, 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 no! The pig is coming for me. It's a giant pig. I think that's a special sort of pig because it got a name, and it might be very dangerous. Where's my dwarf friend? Hello, Mr. Dwarf. I need your assistance right now. I got a big fat pig following me. Oh my god! I'm so gonna die. <laughs> 